Hi, this is Carla from foundinantiquity.com here to talk about different kinds of Latin textbooks, well, Latin and ancient Greek textbooks. Now, what we're looking at today are grammar exercise based textbooks and readings based textbooks. So, up first we have grammar. Uh, at the start of every chapter of Wheelock's Latin, we have um, a grammar explanation. Uh, generally paradigms or some kind of showing you what they look like followed uh, when you get there followed by exercises and often you'll find uh, sentences from antiquity well, basically um, you get classical authors excerpted so that pretty much from the get-go you can read you can end up reading classical authors another Latin example is Jenny's Latin but here is an ancient Greek example of this grammar textbook, Lushnig's Introduction to Ancient Greek. So, same deal, grammar explanation, paradigms, exercises, and readings from real classical authors. Now, here is Jeremy Duff's Elements of New Testament Greek, grammar explanation, paradigms, and and you get exercises and a reading from Matthew. So those are the grammar ones. And here's a readings based textbook. So this is um, this is my high school Latin book. And you can tell it's from high school because it has so much has so so much graphics in it. Uh, but the meat of it are the stories. Um, there's, they're, they're long, and what the Cambridge Latin course in particular is known for is, is, is good writing. Um, these stories actually are beautiful and well, well thought out, well written. They're followed up by grammar explanations and grammar exercises. Now, not all of the stories are the kind that you're going to translate into English on paper. This one you read in your head. Then you answer the grammar, uh, the, well not the grammar, the reading comprehension questions. So that the whole idea is to encourage you to read more, to read lots in Latin. Similar to the Cambridge Latin course is the Oxford Latin course, which you'll see it has long passages of readings and uh, these generally are connected stories and they're followed up by corresponding lessons in grammar and grammar exercises. Similarly, we have Reading Latin by Jones and Sidwell. This is for mature beginners. By that we mean adults or uni students who have done a bit of Latin before and need a brush up and need a course that does that. This, uh, or also complete beginners in uni because it's used in Melbourne uni for that purpose. Um, you have readings and you have corresponding grammar exercises and grammar explanations for each section of the readings. So uh, the ancient Greek examples of, um, of a reader include Athenaes and I know I didn't pronounce that correctly but Sumi and reading Greek. Reading Latin, reading Greek, yep. Yep, makes sense. So which kind, which kind is better? Well, that's, that I would find, unless you're going into specifics about is this particular textbook strong in this particular way, uh, unless you're going to um, compare individual textbooks to each other, um, all I can say about which kind is better is they have complementary pros and cons. Generally, it's acknowledged that the grammar-intensive approach is faster. You can learn pretty much all the elements and all the, all the major components of the language in a year, one year, or even less. I learnt Ancient Greek from Lushnig uh, in an intensive course, and it took me less than six months to get through this book. Uh, and I found myself in the next year in fourth year advanced Greek, translating classical authors 
beside students who had many more years of experience than me, but I could, I could get by. I could do it because that's the net, that's how intense your um, grammar course can be, and it gets you there. It it gets you from A to B. Um, the on the other hand, the reading approach tends to take longer because you have more reading to do. Um, you, I went through Cambridge Latin course in high school. It took about three and a half years, but on, but having said that. I was more confident in Latin at the end of the Cambridge Latin course than I was in Greek at the end of Lushniks. I had more reading practice by doing the reading method, and so I was just, I was more proficient overall. I had better um, vocab reinforcement and better grammar reinforcement as well, although it's mainly vocab that lets you down. So there's more to it. Uh, there's more to the differences between this. Um, some people accuse uh, the graded reading approach and say that it's light on grammar, but I would say it doesn't have to be. The Cambridge Latin course and the Oxford Latin course and Sidwell's, um, Jones and Sidwell's reading Latin are not light on grammar if you do the grammar exercises along with the readings. Uh, on the other hand, the um, grammar approach sometimes gets cr uh, criticized by saying this is the reason why some people have unnatural reading habits. It's because they've been taught in such an analytical way that they then have to resort to not reading left to right. And I would say no. I would say that that's actually a proficiency issue where at the end of a grammar course you haven't had that much time to reinforce your vocab you will spend a lot more time looking stuff up in the dictionary. You, and especially if you get thrown in the deep end, um, thrown into classical text after the end of an intensive grammar course, uh, it is quite common to find that. And actually, traditionally, uh, you would have in the 1950s. That's what I mean by traditionally, not really old traditionally. In the 50s, you'd follow an intensive year of grammar with many, like several years of reading Latin readers. And here is a 1950s era. Well, actually it's, it was first published in 1936, but this particular one was used in the 1950s. Uh, Septimus, a first Latin reader. And what you find is prose that has been made up. It's similar to the Cambridge Latin course, uh, except that it starts at a higher difficulty because it's meant to follow on from an intensive grammar course. But it stands in the gap and um, makes, gives you time to build your reading proficiency up. So if you find yourself in a position where you know all the grammar, but you struggle, you're in struggle town when you're reading real classical authors and you're hunting for the verb all the time, you're always uh, jumping around and having to dive into the dictionary, you need more reading practice. It's as simple as that. Um, even if your reading practice is classical authors, just make sure that you read a lot. And that will basically do you for the difference between these kinds of Latin and ancient Greek textbooks. I hope you enjoyed my explanation and please do check out more stuff by me at foundinantiquity.com.